this is my third attempt in doing this. But yeah, we are here at Phoenix International Raceway for the final race before we head to Homestead, Miami to crown ourselves a champion. Tony Green captures the pole last week winner on the outside for William Brock, who's locked in the Homestead. He joins James Bowles. He has nothing to worry about. Chauncey Henry Jr., Philip Parker, Diego Yepes, and Philip, or, um, and Derek Hamill. But, uh, yeah, we are green here at Phoenix. Um, where are those guys? It was, yeah, Chauncey Henry Jr., Gustavo Arrocha, Diego Yepes, and Philip Parker all below the cutoff line. Arrocha, Yepes, and Parker are in a must-win situation. Chauncey Henry Jr. just needs to finish ahead of Fitzwater by a lot by at least 10 spots but and there they are racing right now for the lead cars into the wall oh hard into the wall goes joe jefferson right there and the yellow is going to be out these guys are going to race it back to the line fitzwater to the lead jefferson oh, and, and the one two of gustavo rocha involved and that is not good for him we make our way back up front looks like it's going to be a trouble turn but out of turn four it's going to be fitzwater Guys getting sideways into the wall right there, and the yellow flag flies. So the caution is going to be out again. They're leaning, and there they go, hard into the wall to 37. They're still wrecking even after the yellow flies. But out front, it's Zachary Fitzwater Sr. in the 34, where he needs to be. He's trying to make it into Miami. Let's go take a look at the replay. So the first break that I saw happen was Joe Jefferson. He smacked that inside wall hard. I believe Jeff Wright just barely got into the 78. They were about four wide coming off the corners. Just 14 just didn't even see it coming. Gustavo Rocha gets collected as well. I'm worried about the damage on that one if he's going to be able to even keep up. Now what Gustavo Rocha needed and then these guys back here. Gonna fast forward. Um, yeah, this is a really slick track to a flat one. Riley spotted to a bump, I believe made it four wide. Fisher and Smith make contact right there, it's actually further up. Yeah, right there, they should have slowed down already. And Gatlin Downey just makes contact with stability. The 37 also went down to 16, he goes up hard into that outside wall. And going to be heavy damage right there for the 37. That went downy also. So the caution flag is out here at Phoenix. We'll get you back to the restart. We're getting ready to go back green. It's Zachary Fitzwater Sr. and Chauncey Henry Jr. 1 and 2. Looking to make it into Homestead right now. Fitzwater has just a little bit of lead over Chauncey Henry Jr. Fitzwater with the uh, 47 points. Johnson Henry Jr. was 36, so about 11 points separate those guys as Green Flag is back out here at Phoenix. It doesn't look like anyone ret retired out of the race. They'll have all 41 drivers on the track. Here comes Chauncey Henry Jr., but he has pressure from William Brock. He nearly gets turned right there. Close call right there by the 20 and the 33. Spitzwood is going to try to get away from those guys. Jay Jefferson making it three wide. Here he comes. Henry Jr. into the wall. We're still green. Fitzwater winning this race will get him into the chase. Right now we're going to take a look at those other drivers in the cars around. That's 32 of Nathan Fodan and Ian Canario. And the caution is going to be out again. They come out of the corner here. It's going to be Fitzwater as more drivers into the wall. Eli Bright and Marcus Yepes. Slow it down, guys. We're under caution. Got a whole lot of cars right here. The yellow flag flies for the second time here today. There goes Yepes. Pace is currently in 16th. The yellow, the yellow flag is out. Zachary Fitzwater, senior year leader. They're going to come down. Their service of pit stops. Mario's day is down. He has heavy damage to his car. Let's get you a look at the replay. So this is what brought up the caution right here. The 32 of Nathan Fodell just 
Again, Nathan Fada and just kind of lost it into the corners right there. Slipped up right in front of um, Ian Canario, destroyed his car. Canario just had nowhere to go, really. Couldn't react quick enough in a situation like that. And both drivers, they are most likely done here, especially Canario. Heavy damage on the 32. Another look at it here. He just kind of, yeah, got down in the groove right there and just kind of lost it. Came right back up in front of, front of the end car. Both drivers going up into the wall. So that was your caution. Get you back to the restart. Getting set to go back green. It's Stamet Oskin who's out front as green flag is out. And he's trickling going for second underneath Tony Green. There goes the 27, Derek Hamill. Eddie Riley is also having a really good run right now in the top 10. Fitzwater going to try to find his way back to the lead. He's going to make it three wide there. A lot of drivers getting into that wall out of four. Fitzwater trying to go underneath. Andy Strickland who has some right side damage to his Toyota. Cameron Oscar is going to try to run away with the lead. And caution flag is out. It's Max Anderson in the two. So the yellow flag is going to fly again and it looks like we have more with Richard Kinghart and Jacob Long. So caution is out once again at the line. It was Sam at Oskin in the three. We'll go take a look at the replay. Right here is what brought out our caution. Contact between the 37 and the two and of uh, Max Anderson. Reynolds that is and Anderson just gets Clipped by the 47, 47 hard to the inside the wall. Nick Smith also involved. He has heavy hood damage. Warren trying to save the car from spinning out. Goes down right in front of Jeff Wright. Then up here, I'm not sure what happened to the 75. Oh, Richard Kinghart. He slipped up and came right into Jacob Long. Kinghart was trying to avoid the wreck. Jacob Long, the rookie or Chicagoland winner, gonna have heavy rear end damage to his Chevrolet. But once again, the yellow flag is out. We'll get you back to the restart at Phoenix. So as we get ready back for the restart here, Pittsworth Senior back out front. You Canaria, the only driver out of the race. Ian Butcher a lap down. Pittsworth leads Jefferson, Oskin, Riley in the top five, and Derek Hamill runs out of the top five. Green flag is back out. As we're past halfway now. Damn Oskin trying to go up through the middle four wide, but he's going to back out of there. Really close race, and look at the 72 of Eddie Riley out of nowhere. As he takes third, and Derek Hamill's going to try and follow. Diego Yepes, he's now running up here, battling with these guys. Damn it, Oskin, he's going to get it to Marcus Yepes, and he goes around. He passed trying to save it. No, he comes back up and Eli Bright goes around. The caution flag is going to be out. What kind of move was that by the three? And it's a big wreck. Gustavo Rocha no one is involved. Not what he needed. And no one is going to be happy with the three after that. Not sure what Sam Austin was doing but he was just trying to force the issue and just caused a big wreck right there 23 75 they're out the 31 the 12 James Bowles also has damage he currently sits in 17 post or Tony Green 16 and chases with damage I believe the 95 or maybe, or maybe not but the yellow flag is out Jay Jefferson is your leader we'll go take a look at the replay yeah, I'm not sure what Sam Oskin was doing here, but he was trying to force Ryan Butcher up out of the groove because Butcher was a slower driver and Oskin trying to make room. The, uh, Marcus Yepes also slipped up, but Oskin, he should have just backed out of it right there. Butcher gets into the wall, makes contact with the 43. Diego Yepes nearly getting clipped by the 43 right there. And Marcus Ypres trying to get his car under control right up into Eli Bright. Bright with damage. Goes back up into the three. Bright goes around. 
when Austin made contact with Marcus Lopez. And it was just a big mess from there. 11 also. Get the 12 right there, the 23 and 31. Kevin Warren actually goes upside down and gets hit. And Gus Sen just launched right up into Marcus Lopez right there. Right on top of the 43 he goes. Much serious, much more serious wreck than I thought it was. And you see here again, Marcus Lopez was just trying to drive it up through the middle, but Austin did not back out of that like he should have. And the squeeze the 25 into the wall, 25, he had nowhere to go. He has a car on his left and then a wall on his right. Eli Bright just had nowhere to go. And everyone trying to get slowed down. Everyone just sliding in each other. Then you see right there, the 12 just gets launched into Marcus Lopez. As he had nowhere to go, he slid right into Alexander Rowe. Then comes Gatlin Downey, gets into him. And then the 75, Jacob Long, almost into the driver's side too. And while he was upside down, just gets launched into the 43. So, a lot of cleaning up to do. Yellow is out. We'll get you back to the restart here at Phoenix. So, we're getting ready for a restart here as the laps are winding. Person leads Zachary Fitzwater. Six drivers out of the race now as the green flag is back out. It's been Fitzwater and Jefferson battling for the lead for the most part. As here comes Fitzwater now. Eddie Riley, he's going for third. There's Diego Yepes right there. As the only drivers safe are William Brock and um, James Bowles. Everyone else really has to fight right here. Chauncey Henry Jr. cannot allow Zachary to finish ahead of him. As Diego Yepes, he gets into the wall. Yepes, too, he really needs a good run. He's in a must-win situation. So Yepes in a tight position right now. They've been off, just off the mark as of late. That team has. Jefferson trying to go back underneath Fitzwater for the lead. He's trying to, he doesn't want to bump him out of the way and end up wrecking him because Fitzwater is trying to make the round of four, trying to make the championship round. So Jefferson also has to be careful not to be too aggressive here, but then again, he has nothing to lose and he wants to win before this season ends. Jefferson's gonna slide up just a little bit right there. He's gonna lose some grounds, two to 34. Eddie Riley into third, having a phenomenal right now, or a phenomenal run right now, the 7-2 is having. There's Chauncey Henry Jr. has some damage to his car. Raymond Fisher having a solid run right now. William Brock, last week's winner, he's saved. There's the 95, another driver in a must-win situation. He could finish second, it still won't matter as um, Peter Parker is last in points with only five points. Yepes again into the wall. I think there's something wrong with that 77. He's going to fall out of the top 10 now, getting passed by Gustavo Orocha. Orocha is another driver in a must-win situation. As we head back up front here, it's Fitzwater trying to outrun Jay Jefferson. Fitzwater comes to the line to lead. Three laps to go in Phoenix. Can the 41 get there? Battle for third. Derek Hamill, he's gonna go by the 20, or the, yeah, he's gonna go by the 72. The farthest running chaser, let's see. Seems to be Diego Yepes, 17th last time by. He's not looking good right now for that 77 team. With two laps to go here at Phoenix. We're gonna go back to the front here. These two continue to battle side by side. Jay Jefferson cannot seem to get to the 34. Fitzwater just barely into above the um the cutoff line. Only by 11 points over Chauncey Henry Jr. who currently runs ninth. The white flag is out at Phoenix for Fitzwater Sr. Took over this 34 ride last season. One Darlington. 
He's in the 34 again this season. He's going to be in it again next season. Jay Jefferson trying to drive it in deep, but I don't think it's going to be enough. As out of turn four, he's going to Miami. And Zachary Fitzwater Sr. wins it at Phoenix. They, knit, they didn't really need a win. They just needed a top five or a top ten. But a win definitely guarantees them into the championship round. As Zachary Fitzwater Sr. is going to Homestead Miami for, his, for a run at his first championship. Jay Jefferson, a solid effort by him right there. He gets second. That team has really been improving these last couple of weeks. But Zachary Fitzwater... What the hell? But yeah, Zachary Fitzwater Sr. is going to win it here at Phoenix for his second win this season. Just what that team needed. They are going to Homestead for a run at the championship. He joins William Brock and James Bowles. So Fitzwater, he's going to win it here. This is Zachary Fitzwater Sr. eighth or uh, ninth win, actually. Ninth career win. He's still second on the all-times win list behind James Bowles. So congratulations to Fitzwater on winning. Jay Jefferson finishes second. Derek Hamill third. And I believe the 27, he is locked in also. So, and Eddie Riley finishes fourth. Great run for him. Andy Strickland fifth. Philip Parker is just going to fall a bit short. It's not enough. He's going to miss the championship at Homestead. Chauncey Henry Jr., he too is going to miss Homestead. James Bowles finishes ninth. He's locked in. And Raymond Fisher, top ten. Here's the rest of your results. Nick Smith, who uh, returned from having a concussion. Where did he finish? There he is, Nick Smith. He, he's going to finish 19th. So, congratulations, Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Your final four is going to be James Bowles, William Brock, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., and uh, where is he? Derek Hamill in the 27. Three Chevys, one Ford. So, congratulations to the final four. We'll see you guys at Homestead, Miami for the season 15 championship run Let's get you down to victory lane where Zachary Fitzwater celebrates win number nine.